Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, O, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Ow, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Ow, what's up, Sag? What's up, baby? Did you miss me? What's popping? Because huh? huh? I missed your motherfucking ass, Sagittarius. Listen, honey. Hey, we have this first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, this first time to my channel, look out. I cuss, okay? Make us a little. Make us a lot. Just depend on what the hell this lick read. But oh, I'm a cuss. So if cussing don't work for you, please feel free right goddamn now to go find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can perfectly assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that shit, all right? Thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, you guys, the reading requests, the donations, you guys just sending me emails to check in. Thank you, honey, from the most humblest space ever. Thank you, guys. Also, if you need a personal reading, that information will be found within the description box below. Also, if you are a new subscriber, if you're, if you're a returning fan, uh, a, 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 a returning, so God, Mercury is winning. <laughs> that bitch is throwing hand, and that bitch is winning. You hear me? If you're a returning subscriber, hey, family, okay? New subscribers, hey, boo, hey. Welcome to the family. <laughs> Will it dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight and fuss, though. We leave that shit on other people's channel, okay? But we do share. We grow. We love. We enlighten. Sometimes we cry. Positive vibes only, though. Positive type of things, okay? Also, this will be a timeless energy check-in for the sign of Sagittarius, you guys. Um, whenever it is that you find this video is when you were meant to find it. It's going to be resonant for Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, North no, wherever the hell you got Sagittarius in your motherfucking chart at, and this resonate with you, okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe is too big, your ass gonna fall every time. So don't be trying to put on a motherfucking shoe that's too big for you. You hear me? All right, let's jump into it. Sagittarius, listen. And Sag, some of you guys, immediately I was picking up, some of you guys could be going through, or there's, if, if you were having issues when it comes to custody, or some issues around your children, um, whether this is, if this is, okay, if this is court related, I get that something's going to be negotiated in a fair manner, okay? So if this is somebody trying to motherfucking, like, have some type of dominance or have more fucking custodial rights than you, because this person is moving off hurt, some of y'all is dealing with a bitter motherfucker, and for some of y'all, this is a masculine energy, because you don't want them, they playing the whole bitter card for some of y'all this is actually a past life lesson when dealing with this particular individual it's tied into a soul contract and honestly there is some type of lesson regarding compromise temperament and actually like softening the ego and actually embracing more of a compassion or and or, 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 we're embracing more so the compassionate side of things Sag because some of y'all got mouths like motherfucking 45 calibers and um y'all be yeah Sagittarius be Sagittarian and okay yeah, y'all been Sagittarian in there. For some of y'all, this is a good, this is some good shit. But for some of y'all, it's creating conflict, especially when it comes to some type of family dynamic where there's children involved, okay? Also, for some of you all, you kind of been on the damn fence about questioning, uh, should I let this person go? Uh, should I tell this person my business? Uh, should I? Yeah, it's, it's, some of y'all is real iffy with a particular individual. This person could be another mutable sign like yourself, Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces, or a Gemini. This person could also be a Capricorn, Aries, Libra, or a uh, Cancer individual, okay? I get this energy where someone, someone could also be trying to use your past to bury you, bury you. Some of y'all could have gotten over something. I'm hearing something could have occurred a decade ago, okay? For some of y'all, this is something that's reoccurring that's coming to some type of closure or you're reconnecting with someone not for the sake of actually being with that person but now that you have a higher perspective of looking at things and you're able to see the big picture of things it's kind of like you don't never know what another person is paying what another person is praying for so i'm getting this energy where something that started off as a as a petty quarrel and and actually grew into something big and for some of y'all this is involving children i see that actually coming to some type of resolution some of y'all may be seeing a series of nines nine 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 okay nine nine six three six nine eight oh eight as well i'm also seeing four five six sad you're on the right path for some of you all you tend to beat yourself up or be overly self-critical which keeps you from putting the necessary fire up under your ass in order to not only get something done but actually like execute it and go fucking like full motherfucking fire flame fucking spitter towards one direction some of y'all is kind of all over the place when it comes to what it is that you want to do for the long term as it pertains to career and for some of you all you are being called to be this way some of y'all could literally have saturn and sagittarius okay also you could have uranus and sagittarius possibly even i'm also seeing something about saturn and scorpio as well okay i got a lot of focus around creativity so maybe some of you guys could find yourself actually like watching a lot of motherfucking home improvement videos at this time or home improvement could be of significance some y'all could have recently moved okay some y'all could have 
some of y'all getting ready to move out of state in November and you keeping it a quiet and you keeping it a secret. But I get this energy with some of y'all kids finna tell y'all business, especially if you was trying to keep this away from a mother figure. Some of y'all is not meant to ghost the situation. You're meant to face it head on. Even though you don't want the damn con even though you don't want the confrontation that comes along with this, I get this energy where some of y'all are being called to like I'm hearing seal the deal, okay, or completely close a chapter. Like don't leave don't leave no stone like unfucking um I'm country. Don't leave no stone undone or don't leave no don't leave something undone or in this motherfucking question mark phase anymore, okay? Something's coming back around definitely for some type of closure. Um for some of you all, you're being cautioned to be to be very you're being called to be very cautious who you're telling your business to, especially if you're going through some type of a uh, spiritual some type of like spiritual awakening or some type of like I'm hearing evolving spiritually, but for some of you all, while you're in this place of evolving spiritually, you notice that it's a bunch of motherfucking religious people kind of like throwing a really heavily. I'm getting this energy with Sash. Some of y'all could be in the store or some of y'all could be like out and about putting gas in your damn car and you got a lot of people coming to you. Like, do you believe in, you know, like, have you, it's kind of like, have you heard of Jehovah's return? Do you believe some of y'all could have grown up, grown up as Jehovah witnesses, or maybe you're dealing with someone who grew up a Jehovah witness. There is some type of power struggle as it pertains to some type of belief system, whether this is coming from family, whether this is coming from like friends, I'm getting this energy with some of y'all, something's getting ready to be made crystal clear that just two things are not fucking agreed and you got to go your way and another person got to go they way for some of y'all this have to do with some type of work environment as well okay i'm getting a lot of focus on um again interior design some of y'all could have recently just moved sagittarius okay some of y'all people is mad at you because they want to know where the fuck you stay some of y'all also um if you've been feeling like you're being followed or you're being watched something about a silver car is significant okay i see a silver car i also see a dark blue car with tin on it all right Somebody could also be borrowing someone's car. I'm literally hearing sister, okay? Sister-in-law could also be of significance. Someone could be borrowing a sister-in-law's car to come and spy on you. Somebody's also passing by your house to see if you got company and shit. Somebody trying to use the kids as a weapon or as a way to keep you fucking stuck, restricted, or binded, or feeling guilty for fucking dating and living your goddamn life, even though this person is not fucking emotionally fucking present or responsible as they should be for these damn kids. But listen, no shade, bitch. <laughs> no shade. We just sitting under a big tree, bitch. Okay? Also, shady um shady shady maybe someone feels like you're being shady because you're not communicating the way that you used to someone could also if you are a tarot reader somebody could feel like you be like shading um like you use your position or you use your platform or you use somebody feel like you use your business or you use your platform to like antagonize people or antagonize another person this person could be an air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could also be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone's threatened by your independence and your position of power. I'm also hearing this person doesn't, you spiritually outrank whoever this is. So this person could have actually been like infiltrating your dream space at one point. I'm hearing something about a cord cutting being significant. Maybe some of y'all just recently did some type of cord cutting during the Pisces full moon. Someone is very bothered why they can't access something or they no longer have access to something. For some of y'all, if you're going through a separation, some y'all could have cleared all of the money out of the bank account or if you kind of haven't you in two minds about taking all of your motherfucking money out of a particular account if you have more money than whoever it is that you're leaving you better listen to your motherfucking intuition because whoever this is you planning on moving out of state so i you better listen to this intuition before november okay i don't know who that's for but you got kids and shit you better listen to your intuition before november especially if you're dealing with an air sign or a Virgo specifically. I'm also hearing Gemini. One of Mercury's children. Also communication. Self-expression. Some of y'all could be artists. Okay. Some of y'all could also be astrologers. Astronomers. Numerology could also be a significant significance. I'm also hearing something having to do with Aztec. Okay. So you, some of you guys could be looking into like tribal practices. Or maybe like um tribal symbolisms okay this could have to do with like jewelry maybe you actually like customize spiritual jewelry okay i'm also seeing someone going on some type of juicing or fasting or some type of like heavy metal detox or some type of like parasitic detox as well maybe you was a reach okay some of y'all could have been recently looking into that in the last seven days 
Some of you guys also could be looking to uh, looking for some type of school practice mentorship of some sorts when it comes to advancing your um, advancing your consciousness or your awareness or your skill when it comes to like holistic healing of sorts. Okay, I'm also hearing doula childbirth womb health could be of significance some of y'all could also make yoni eggs or maybe a yoni cleanse would be very significant especially if you just recently did some type of cord cutting possibly from an air sign a virgo a gemini i'm also hearing cancer and pisces very strongly okay i'm also hearing some for somebody a scorpio is going to be your demise or a scorpio is going to blow some shit up in someone's household I'm hearing airing shit out. Some, something could be being exposed online or someone's sexuality. I'm hearing secrets around sexuality is being exposed online. Something about this Mercury retrograde is going to bring some type of conflict or well-needed well needed conflict. Because I get this energy with some of y'all that had solid animosity with a particular individual. And I'm hearing trust what you feel, Sash. Because whoever this is, this person kind of like to dance around the truth. They, 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 they. I mean, this is a do it for the gram type of motherfucker. I don't know if this is a woman or a man. It feels like feminine energy, okay? But this could also be a masculine very heavily in his feminine energy, all right? Somebody feels the need to, like, assassinate your brand or ruin your reputation. Something about the 10th house status. Reputation is significant here. So this gives me the, uh, this gives me, like... Okay, so this confirms some of y'all could have some type of platform, some some type of status, some type of um, following of some sort, okay? How you doing? Some of y'all also, okay, so I'm hearing, okay, so it's taking me back to interior design, okay? Maybe some of you guys are being called to like tap into event coordination. I'm also hearing branding, clothing lines. A clothing line could be of significance. Maybe some of you all want to make um, ball gowns, okay? Or something having to do with sewing, fitting. Okay, maybe you guys customize dresses as well. Some of y'all are getting re getting ready to have some type of recog um some type of like online recognition that is coming out of nowhere. Some of y'all is gonna find out that somebody booked your services if you sew or if you customize like particular outfits, especially dresses of some sort. Okay. These could also be like after five fucking dresses. Also, if you share, if you sell shoes or have some type of like clothing business, online boutique, some of y'all got somebody else coming to buy, some of y'all got someone going to patronize your, okay, someone's coming to like, I see patronage here. But somebody's coming to support your business and I get that this could be the assistant of some famous person. Some of y'all going to get an unexpected shout out online that's actually going to change everything. So for those of you who've been feeling like, okay, when is my flow coming? When is my flow coming? You've been manifesting this abundance. I'm also hearing something about engagement, live streams. Some of y'all cracked the code to something about like manipulating some type of algorithm or some type of analytics of some sort. Maybe you're online influencers, conscious creators, okay? philosophy could be of significance also i keep hearing something about cultures maybe like cultures symbolisms okay the origin of like the first or the original language as well maybe you're teaching this okay some of you all could also teach about the various tribes of the indigenous people or maybe you're being called to do this I'm hearing the integration of past life knowledge, past life wisdom. Some of you guys were oracles in your previous life. Others of you could have been shamans or monks or some type of energetic healer. Healing abilities, anointed hands, blessing, blessed hands. Some of y'all could also be wanting to go to school for, for massage therapy, okay? I'm also hearing something significant to a chiropractor. Maybe you're seeking out a chiropractor. I'm hearing something about the releasing of energy or something being released, okay? Or some type of like unexpected ass twist of events is getting ready to occur. Something about Libra season is ushering in. Okay, so I'm hearing dismantling. Something is being dismantled in September, especially if this is involving like a friendship, a connection, your connection to family, some type of like tie. Some of y'all feel guilty about releasing something. But all of that shit is going to change by the time we get into the end of fucking September. Some of y'all, you were the last person I'm hearing. I gave you the benefit of the doubt. Some of y'all could have given somebody the benefit of the doubt. It's like when everybody else shitted on your name, when everybody else turned their back on you, I was there. Why me? Something about why me? Closure could be of significance. Maybe some of y'all are awaiting closure that you're not going to get. 
I'm hearing embracing the lessons in order to see your blessings or in order to unlock your, okay, embracing the lesson or praying to know or discern the lesson around something in order to, in order to unlock your blessings. Something is like done, finito, been done. The con the soul contract is severed. Whatever the fuck this is, somebody's still ruminating on woulda, coulda, shoulda, sash. And I feel like whoever this person is, they're pulling very heavily at your fucking energy to the point where I feel like I'm battling between who the fuck I'm reading for, right? Like, I know I'm reading for sash, but this is like somebody else. Some of y'all, this is a heavy fucking mercurial energy. Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn, Aries, Cancer. Libra, Aquarius, very strong, okay? Some of y'all also want to make something right around a Leo, okay? You can have a family with this person. Maybe you share a child with this person. Maybe whoever this person is, there could have been some conflict because one person makes a decision to go between two people. Like, if I'm not with this person, I'm with this person. And when I'm with this person, I'm with that person. Something's getting ready to come to a head where somebody's finally going to choose who the hell they're going to be with. And it's going to shake the table because I feel like they could have been, like, using another person here. I'm hearing you want to call me the bad guy, eh? Nicki Minaj, maybe some of you. <laughs> maybe this show ass. <laughs> some of y'all are being very methodical about how you execute something, how you go about some type of move or transition, okay? I definitely get a lot of shh energy around this, okay? Also, it would be very beneficial for some of you all because I kept getting a lot of emphasis around the throat chakra. Maybe some of you guys are struggling with your allergies at this time, sinuses. Maybe some of y'all could also make some type of teas, brews, tonics, potions. Botany could be of significance. Plant magic, plant medicine, okay? Maybe you're called to teach this. Maybe you're wanting to further your education in this subject, okay? But this is definitely tied to a previous life around, this is definitely around some type of knowledge being integrated from the spirit into the earthly plane, okay? Okay. Also, I'm hearing time travel, quantum leaping, quantum entanglement, quantum healing could be of significance. Maybe some of y'all are really interested in digging deep into your past life, okay? Maybe digging deep into the past life connections that you have with a particular family member or someone. Definitely a lot of emphasis around somebody who y'all have children with, okay? Also, Sagittarius, if you drive a black SUV... Um, yes, a black SUV specifically. This is for somebody, and you could have had this car with you could have gotten your car within the last 30 days to 60 days. Some of y'all got some of y'all got a water sign tampering with your vehicle. For some of y'all, it's the air sign. I'm 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 strongly here in Aquarius, Libra. Somebody's trying to make you feel intimidated or make it's like somebody wanna be the motherfucking villain and the fucking they want to be the villain and the hero at the same time somebody's deliberately doing shit to your property doing shit to your car doing shit to your shit to make you call them and make you need them for whoever this person whoever this person is maybe you moved out of state to be with this person and then things didn't work out and you went your own way this person thought that you didn't have anybody to turn to but then spirit starts sending you fucking divine connections and stepping stones and people to help you point or, or point you in the right direction or assist you in some sort or maybe this is the energy the child in now sad you've been kind of contemplating on travel somewhere moving somewhere doing some type of temporary studies in another place please invest in your motherfucking future it is going to shake the goddamn table but it's going to be very beneficial to you by the time we get into pisces season of 2023 okay so let's 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 let's, let's jump out all right strong emphasis on chefs event coordination uh, event coordinator catering also if you're dealing with a libra something's going to pop off at somebody's birthday party or someone's planning to like pop up and sabotage somebody's birthday party i'm gonna need y'all not to post y'all motherfucking plans or if you ain't did it yet okay i mean y'all not to post y'all shit until fucking january of next year i don't know why i'm telling or who i'm telling that shit but don't post your personal motherfucking it's like don't fucking post your pictures and shit to after you came back sag because i do get this energy where someone's like fixated someone has made a routine around watching your shit this could be a this could be a weird ass bitch or a weird ass nigga who claim they don't like you and throw your name in the mud but they don't want nobody else to like you because they love you real bad okay but this person would it's like their ego embraces chaos the yeah the chaos whoever this is somebody's addicted to chaos and some of y'all are being called to wash your hands with a particular person, with a particular situation. Some of y'all are noticing that every time you help a particular person, something bad happens in your life. 
your spirit guides want you to stop intervening on someone else's karmic retribution. All right. Sagittarius, some of y'all could definitely be dealing with another fire sign, a Scorpio, a Capricorn, um, a Gemini, a Virgo with that. Okay. They gave me specific signs for y'all. Sag, listen. All right. So we're going to pull a crystal message for you guys and see what energy is coming out for you all. Spirit, please give me a crystal oracle wisdom um, healing message for Sagittarius. Someone rising in Venus. Allow me to be the vessel of truth, love, clarity, understanding, wisdom, and confirmation for my Sagittarius at this time. What crystal will be beneficial for them at this time? Some of y'all could also be into crystal healing. Maybe some of y'all make crystal jewelry. Again, I was speaking about metaphysical jewelry. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing some type of like esoteric boutique online, all right? I'm also hearing products. For those of you who already sell products on uh, on your website or you... Also, some of y'all need to... Uh, maybe you're looking into updating updating your website or some of y'all are being called to like step back and reorganize something. I'm hearing your approach, your plans, solidify plans. All right. Also, groundedness. I'm also hearing something about earth magic could be of significance. Seashells. Some of y'all could also be uh, connecting very or feel very connected or protected by some type of like, um, I'm hearing water goddess. Maybe some of you guys could actually like uh, give offerings to Oshun. Okay. Some of you guys could also give, um, some of y'all could also give offerings as well to, um, it's something about Hecate as well. I'm also hearing Kalima, a lot of focus around affirmations, mudras, mantras, again, quantum shifts, quantum leaps time jumping maybe y'all teach this sag i'm also hearing something about human design maybe you're interested in learning more about like the human design i'm also hearing anatomy okay autonomy a lot of focus around i'm hearing something about the blood type so star seeds could be of significance purpose blood types numerology some of y'all are being called also to do some type of like be very unconventional with how you do your readings. Some of y'all is tired of people putting you in the box. You want to explore all of your gifts, okay? But you're not sure about how that's going to be received, okay? Some of y'all feel like you're lacking some type of support system, but know that it's like God wants you to do the work, baby, and he will send the people. A lot of you all could also teach about like the divine feminine. I'm also hearing something about black moon, Lilith. Astrology could be of significance very heavily. Maybe Sag, some of y'all are being called. Um, some of y'all are being called to learn astrology. Or again, I keep hearing past life integration, wisdom, esoteric information. I'm also hearing something about the home front, belonging, okay? Maybe there's a lot of healing work being done when it comes to like feeling grounded. Something about the root chakra, the sacral chakra, groundedness, permeance, stability, a lot of four energy, okay? Something also could be uh, pertaining to the mother or breaking cycles around the mother's side of the family or something's coming to a head where you may have to defend yourself or stand your ground with the mother figure. I'm hearing monster-in-law, really, y'all, I call mother-in-laws, monster-in-law, okay? A test of your temperament. You have you have two ears and one mouth for a reason. Antagonizing, maybe sad. Some of y'all feel antagonized for wanting to do something unconventional. You could be living in someone else's space as well. I'm also hearing cultivating. Some of y'all also could have new love, and there could be issues around a blended family. Okay. Something around a blended family is significant. Or someone could be trying to create, this could be the in-laws trying to create some type of issue. Somebody feel like you took their son away. Emotionally manipulative mother. Whoever this emotionally manipulative mother is, something in your spirit just naturally don't connect with this person because this person was like a past life rival to you. They could be somebody else's mother, but they actually bind this person to them in a previous life. I'm hearing the manipulation of spiritual marriages. Maybe some of y'all could also teach about energy harvesting, or maybe you've been doing a lot of, yeah, there's a need to, some of y'all need to do some type of blockbuster because somebody is completely like penetrating your fucking energetic field, or they're attempting to. Somebody is fixated on the access they no longer have to you, Sag. All right, let's, let's, let's keep it moving. You guys got number 39. Turquoise, honey. Listen, this is turquoise here.
turquoise serves when it comes to um i know prosperity as well some of y'all are something about money manifestation some of y'all seeing something coming to fruition or something that you manifested libra season is significant to something that you manifested coming into fruition but i'm hearing what are you willing to give whether it's a mindset it's a behavior it's a relationship it's a connection it's a particular understanding for some of y'all it's control okay over how shit gonna fucking pan out some of y'all y'all sad about the past you having a heart that you like it's i get some type of escapism in the damn future some of y'all could be deciding not to drink I'm also hearing someone else's health issues could be the catalyst or your message or your confirmation to like quit something or like let something go. I'm hearing health as well. Some of y'all, this could be smoking cigarettes, smoking blacky miles. I start smelling a wine blacky mile. Some of y'all also been wanting to know what your ancestors want. Somebody's ancestors want some chocolate, like fine chocolate. Um, what is that? Um little chocolate that's in them damn gold little packages my babies eat them but i'm not sure because i ain't gonna lie they murder them bitches i barely ever see the goddamn if i see the packages it's the little gold paper and shit that's it um i think it's jura deli's jura some something about but chocolate and this is like the chocolate that got the little fucking like rice krispies it would kind of give me the uh give me the vibes of like nestle crunch I'm also hearing Paul Mall cigarettes. Somebody's father or grandfather smoked Paul Mall cigarettes. They're very heavily around you and they want some damn cigarettes. Somebody also wants some macaroni and cheese. Something about loaded macaroni and cheese. Somebody makes something just like their grandmother or their grandmother gave them the recipe before she passed. This could also have to do with some type of peach cobbler or like uh, peach pie, lemon meringue pie desserts, okay? Also, I'm hearing gifts from the earth. The earth is gifting you. Some of y'all, I'm also hearing a rainbow is confirmation to 999. A rainbow is confirmation to God's promise. But for some of you all, some of y'all need to pray for something specific in order, in order to like get the final confirmation because for some of y'all i get a lot of projection coming from outside people as it pertains to like your next move and spirit don't want you to move like that which is why these people showing their ass and they and the mask is being snatched off it's not you sagittarius but you need to honor you sagittarius have compassion for others but more so for yourself because if you ain't right you can't get another motherfucker right you guys got turquoise let's get to it so i can channel here forever with y'all let me see some of y'all could be adopting a pet <clears throat> Or again, a lot of a lot of focus around belonging. Cats could also be of significant. Maybe some of y'all could have some type of connection to Bastet, to Bastet as well, or Segment. Egyptology, comedic line, uh, I mean, comedic uh, knowledge, comedic comedic wisdom, comedic science. I'm also hearing something about biblical biblical chronology. Okay, theories conspiracy theories some y'all could also be very some y'all could have uh, aries in your chart as well because i think i got this with aries i also got it with aquarius so maybe y'all got aries and aquarius in your chart i'm literally hearing aquarius moon some of y'all have been um some of y'all are finding interest in like documentaries around taboo occult studies uh, maybe more studies regarding like religion i'm hearing something about being released or some type of struggle between religious and spiritual practices or I'm hearing religious bondage. Like, you can fucking love God without being fucking binded religiously. Okay? Let me see. <clears throat> 39. Some of y'all could also be studying something about um, Santa Morte. Some of y'all could be studying something. Um, some of y'all could be studying regarding, like, offerings to Lilith, Saint um, Santa Morte. Isis, Oshun. Some of y'all could be definitely like researching like what type of things that you put on your altar or you it's like the spirit is saying you're being called to what to put on your altar. But some of y'all need to stay in the present moment so that you don't it's like the signs are everywhere or something. I'm hearing repeated themes, repeated signs. Okay, synchronicity is important. You guys got turquoise number thirty nine. Didn't I tell y'all three six nine was significant? Turquoise, true riches. A copper based stone attracting good fortune since antiquity turquoise was popular for protective amulets somebody i told you somebody makes motherfucking spiritual jewelry sacred to hathar venus and to buddha it linked earth and the sky and made a potent love charm 
Your pathway is one of self-realization. Yes, Sag. Qualities you cultivate now drive your spiritual evolution forward. Draw on your karmic wisdom and past life skills. Bitch, I'm good. And your past life skills. Release vows that no longer serve you and speak what used to be unspeakable. Self-expression. I told y'all there's something around expression. Watch your health and avoid polluted environments. Brilliant success and happiness are coming. Fortune favors you. You navigate the way forward with sure-footed confidence, but watch your personal safety and deal with problems immediately. Good friends accompany you. You are in the spotlight and others rely on you. Your true riches lie not in the bank, but in your heart. The frequency of this stone is medium to high. It's good for the throat chakra and the third eye chakra. It's also good for Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Pisces, and those with the soul path of attuning to inner riches for some of you all the way that you look at wealth is being transformed some of you all also maybe want to okay i'm also hearing philosopher maybe some of you guys are wanting to travel some of y'all could have grown children and i'm hearing something about area 51 um the the bermuda triangle maybe you're making content regarding this or maybe you obsessed with content uh regarding this i'm also hearing something about the lyrian the lyrian star seeds the lyrian star seeds the andromedians the orionites could be of significance as well i'm also okay some of y'all the spotlight videography mediography short films um i'm hearing um third okay distribution and shipping sad y'all trying to get to the motherfucking back i get this energy where if something's not moving or maybe some of y'all is looking to launch something by november or december they're saying don't tell nobody nothing sag not even your kids if you planning on moving to another state some of y'all i see a kid selling y'all ass out do not tell your motherfucker listen okay some of y'all also are going to align with the wealth in which you're manifesting due to some type of like some type of like huge move or some type of like major transition i'm literally hearing turning the page new chapter some of y'all there's a need for you to like not feel as if you got to defend yourself all the goddamn time sagittarius i'm hearing you no longer live there okay your discernment is right when it comes to a particular i'm hearing water sign female so strongly in aquarius this could have to do with work as well Somebody could also be trying to, um, mm, if some of y'all is going through some type of betrayal or somebody stabbing you in the back or somebody trying to sabotage you at work, your ancestors are a lot, they're protecting you overall, but they're allowing this to happen because you don't know when to let shit go. They're saying they protecting you from yourself. I don't even know who that's for, but that's for somebody. All right. So let me going to get a few of these, uh, angel Oracle cards. These Archangel Oracle cards. Spirit, give me a message for Sagittarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, the Cross Watchers, the North Node, capitalizing on moon energy. Some of y'all could also make candles, okay? Some of y'all also could be reinventing yourself. You will find it very beneficial to wear blue at this time. Maybe some of y'all are wanting to light, uh, lighten up your wardrobe. Something about your wardrobe. Some of y'all also could have reached, recently reached some type of like weight loss goal. Or maybe some of y'all, you didn't notice that you were losing weight. Maybe you set the intention to lose weight, but you've been so damn focused in one area that you didn't even realize that actually one of your damn goals that, or one of your goals were naturally coming together. Some of y'all could also make some type of like skincare as well, holistic skincare or something having to do with... Um, I'm hearing skincare, hair. This could also have to do with the hair, hair products, roll-on oils as well. Some of y'all could also make some type of like soap or like, um, I'm hearing chakra soap. A lot of innovative ideas for Sag. I'm also hearing something about updating merchandise. Maybe some of y'all is tired of fucking looking through. Some of y'all think something is cheap. Something that you, <laughs> Okay. Some of y'all are in two minds about investing in something. If this is having to do with real estate, if you can hold off until... Because I'm hearing you're going to get a better deal. For some of y'all, also something about an auction license is significant as well. An auction license? This could have to do with cars or homes. An auction license? Maybe you're traveling to like sell cars or trade cars. I'm also hearing something about a mobile mechanic as well. Some of y'all, most of y'all are literally being called, I'm hearing entrepreneurship. A lot of y'all are being called to pretty much like 
really live out your desires but understand that you are the creator of what the hell the end what the hell the end result of that canvas looks like so don't allow nobody else don't allow nobody else's input to fucking affect or you know what i'm saying like manipulate your intentions or your direction Ooh, okay cranes could be of significance as well also i'm hearing monitoring spirits some of y'all may have to kill a lot of flies yeah some about flies is significant people um some y'all could feel somebody pulling at your energy or pulling on your damn energy i'm hearing your ancestors are confusing these yeah your ancestors are confusing someone who's a fucking this, whoever this person is they are her they are a fucking habitual boundary crosser this person don't get tired of being a nosy bitch okay you guys got counselor archangel azrael you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance a lot of focus around teaching also for my sagittarius who have the ability or who my clairvoyance my clairsentient people my clairaudient people my empathic people the people you the, the people who are light workers and you know you're able to embrace your purpose around being a light worker i'm getting this energy with some of y'all are being guided some y'all i'm hearing trust in the god that's working through you okay also alchemical symbols okay some type of uh, something about your healing when you're asleep as well. Sacred geometrical shapes. Again, a lot of form, a lot of focus around alchemy. Linguistics could also be of significance. Maybe some of y'all are wanting to learn a new language, or maybe some of y'all are connecting with a person from another culture. Okay, you guys got healthy lifestyle. Archangel Raphael. Eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep, exer and exercise regularly for optimal health. Some of y'all could also be fitness trainers, dietitians as well. I'm hearing the Illumin one. Maybe some of y'all could also teach about the Illuminati since motherfuckers think that we ain't the Illuminati. Illumin means, uh, Illuminati means Illumin ones, okay? That you the Illuminati, the fuck? Them some other motherfuckers, okay? That's another fucking video for another day. Sagittarius, you guys could also be, um, I'm hearing, um, life coach spiritual life coach certifications could be of significance as well maybe some of y'all are going back to school for the healthcare field at this time maybe you are maybe you're returning or maybe you're thinking about you're planning to return back to school in the fall i'm hearing to finish out some type of degree maybe some of y'all are being called to change your degree something about nurturing some of y'all definitely got a life purpose around children as well pediatricians nurse could be of significance Something about making holistic medicine for children as well. A lot of focus around the healthcare field with this damn symbolism here as well, okay? Again, symbolism, sigil, symbols could be of significance. Amulets. I'm hearing good luck charm. Consultations as well. Some of y'all could also be preparing or um, trying to lose weight or lose a certain amount of weight. Something about your body mass, okay, could be of significance. I'm also hearing for those of you who be who could be having some type of issues regarding ho hormones, okay, macaroot could be, um, look into macaroot. I'm also hearing something having to do with, um, or marigold. Plant medicine, botany, healing through plant medicine or creating some type of potion, brew, tonic, some of y'all can make spiritual baths or detox teas as well. Healthy lifestyle, okay? You guys also got nurture, Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. Sagittarius, some of y'all also may be, some of y'all may have some type of unexpected custody of, of maybe a sibling. I'm hearing a sibling's child. Also, if you recently lost a child in the last two years, baby, my condolences to you. Because I know what the hell that's like. But I'm getting this energy with some of y'all need to release some type of guilt. Because I'm hearing woulda, coulda, shoulda. like, I, maybe this child is connecting with you in spirit to help you to release something. Or, like, help you to release some type of burden. Say, well, I'm not crying today. I don't want to. Okay? I get a lot of, like, reminiscent energy. A lot of, like, releasing, purging. Some of y'all may be crying a whole lot at this time. 
air, communication, yeah. If you are suffering, if you are going through issues with a particular relationship, possibly with an air sign, it don't necessarily have to be because I also get water. If maybe you're married to this person, I get this energy where if someone wasn't open to therapy, okay, um, y'all are going to find healing in a very unconventional way, especially if you're tuning into something creative, maybe some type of like sipping paint, or maybe if you buy some canvases and have a dinner at home. I'm getting this energy where someone needs to feel like they're liberated in order to speak their truth or maybe there's some type of trauma regarding repressed emotions what i should have said maybe things would have been different had i said this had I, i'm here and had i actually reached out relationship harmony archangel ragael we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are now being resolved. For some of you all, listen, okay? I get this energy. Didn't I tell y'all? I started off telling y'all, if there was any issues regarding children, home, family, fourth house matters, okay? Or something repressed, something that wasn't said, or you, down, you guys getting down to the nitty gritty in order to find compromise where both people feel that their needs are being met. I get this energy where this Mercury retrograde in Libra is really going to be beneficial to you. I'm here and just make sure that you having the conversation, the conversation from a grounded space. If you feel like you can't fucking connect with that fucking grounding, you know what I'm saying? Take a day, Sag. It's okay. with Nothing's wrong with taking a day, Sag. Okay. Cause some of y'all need to take a day, honey. All right. Also be very uh, careful um, not to burn out or experience some type of burnout with something. All right. So let me give you guys some advice. You guys got new beginning as an opportunity. Some of y'all could be moving toward the... Some of y'all could be on the fence about completely moving to the West Coast. Maybe y'all have some type of opportunity in the West Coast. I'm hearing something about auditioning. If you have to audition for something, I, I see you guys being very successful. Something about home improvement. Maybe some of y'all could also have some type of mobile construction company. Okay, or some type of hot shot. Some of y'all could also be thinking about investing in something having to do with like um, transportation. Some of y'all just could actually have to do with like Amazon. Okay, I'm hearing a box truck. That's a go. That's a green light. You guys got self rely. Rely on your motherfucker. Smoke by myself. Drink by myself. Mm -mm, I can by my mm -mm self for real. By my goddamn self. Some of y'all could be listening to old school rap as well. Old school R&B, 90s music, maybe you're trying to bring that sound back or maybe you're only like something about frequency, okay? Watch where frequencies you're tuning into, Sag. Words or spells, you guys got self-reliance. For those of you who are trying to go into business with another person, you've been trying to wait for somebody to get ready, wait for somebody to get it together. Your ancestors didn't even fucking approve of whatever type of partnership this was. Some of y'all thought you was going to take a whole nother relationship out of town. The reason why things is being held up is because you're supposed to rely on yourself. You're going on a fucking fool's journey, okay? I'm getting something about zero, zero, zero as well. New starts, okay? I'm hearing clear canvas. You guys got divine timing, okay? Libra season is go time to bust the fuck out, Sag. Some of y'all are being called to rest, okay? Rejuvenate, recharge, release, purge, allow. At this time, divine timing is at play. When it comes to some type of connection, divine timing is at play when it comes to some type of movement. I'm literally hearing Libra season, Scorpio season is go time. Or there will, this will be the energy where some type of resolution and healing is going to be ushered into a particular situation, okay? Just allow things to be and give it to God, all right? Especially if this is involving custody, children, and some type of like um visitation rights okay somebody's bitter so they or uh, somebody moved on so they say you can't fucking see the kids sad some of y'all could actually it could have actually had a gemini or a virgo possibly even another fire sign tell you for my sagittarius man to file child support on your damn self in order to rectify something you better listen to this person because this person foresees something i'm hearing the gift of foresight or maybe the, 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 you're being bestowed the gift of foresight is being bestowed upon to you clairvoyance some of y'all have you in and out when it comes to trusting your gifts and i feel like september is going to make you very aware of how your gifts work this is about self-mastery emotional intelligence okay some of y'all calling your motherfucking power back and for others of you really walking fully in your damn confidence without nobody else's approval that's how you're going to break the fucking cycle on the mother side of the family some of y'all, it's a father's side when it comes to abandonment, rejection, neglect. I'm hearing foster child, survival mindset, poverty consciousness, 
out to win somebody just wants to win Sagittarius they're not thinking about the bigger picture especially if there's children involved so you have to be the one to be self-reliant on your damn self and just accept that maybe somebody wasn't meant to motherfucking you know what I'm saying or maybe someone's ready not ready for the responsibility that's being bestowed onto them because for somebody some y'all dealing with a grown ass child with mother issues and this is why they don't know how to open up to the realm of parenting they don't know how to open up to the realm of communication they don't know how to open up to the realm of intimacy connections being vulnerable open this is like a foreign language to whoever this motherfucker is okay Ooh, honey listen okay so this is what i have for you guys sagittarius at this time i pray that this message finds you in love light a whole lot of fucking wisdom i love y'all long time and until next time mwah, 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 my baby if you need a personal reading that information ugh, that information can be found within the description box below okay um also sagittarius be careful is some i see somebody running over their phone okay for whoever that was for your phone was motherfucking tapped and being hacked anyway by a water sign and you needed a new phone and everybody keep telling you that. So I love you. Bye. Bye, boos.